Put your hands together for a very funny Miss Karen Fien. Yeah, hey guys, keep it going for Chris James. Holy shit, that is great. How you doing? Good. Good. My name is Karen. I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Hi Karen. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just um, coming off a pretty gnarly relapse. If you guys are wondering like, where the absolute best place to have a relapse is, uh, it's actually on a live filmed podcast. <laughs> Please don't Google me. Please. And I'm back in AA, feeling good. I love, I love my AA meetings because I'm always like the prettiest one there. <laughs> so we got this new math chick. <laughs> She's so skinny. <laughs> and we got a tattoo. I got a tattoo that says, don't serve me. <laughs> I did my part, you guys. This is really on you now. <laughs> Get on board. <laughs> Another good news, I just got dumped. No, it's cool, I got it. I just decided I'm gonna start dressing like a junior high school kid, like hoping for a kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> Take me home, give me peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You can wear my feet, whatever. I don't have to pay rent. <laughs> this is great. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be totally fine, you guys. I got, I got a dating app on my phone. I don't know if you guys have heard of this one. It's called Uber. <laughs> <laughs> you do, yeah? You guys know it's great, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's amazing. Five to seven minutes. You got a new boyfriend, and he has an Ultima. <laughs> I said Ultima, and it might cut out. It might be. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and they always have gum and water. It's like they know me. Like I probably just threw up in my mouth. Like let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna party. You guys are a little uptight, but it's cool. I'm fine. Um, I am a waitress because I went to college. I work brunch. Actually, I'm sorry. I crush brunch. And it gets really busy, but I, uh, I have this great technique. Or if I know a table is going to ask me for something, when I walk by them, I just keep my eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love picturing these assholes. Like, can I get a... Is she asleep? <laughs> <laughs> this guy complained to me. He's like, excuse me, excuse me. I've been waiting for 90 minutes for my eggs benedict. <laughs> I was like... Why? <laughs> Why don't you just leave, man? <laughs> You're gonna be starving. Oh, hi, I ate your benefit. <laughs> I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> I smoke too much pot. I smoke too much pot um, before I get on the train sometimes, and I live in sort of a dangerous neighborhood. You get paranoid. It really, uh, it came to a head the other day. I got on the train, looked down, and realized, oh, yeah, I'm still holding the garbage from my home. <laughs> That's a tough one to get out of. <laughs> it's cool, though. I want to be on TV. I think I can get on one of those intervention shows pretty easy, right? That'd be great for that. And the alcoholics they have on that show, all this one dude does is pound a gallon of vodka, vomit, and then pass out. <laughs> Next day, same exact thing. Pounds vodka, vomits, passes out. I'm watching this, I'm like, come on, buddy, get in your car. <laughs> now we got some DUIs in the crowd, what happened, you guys? You can tell me, I've peed bills before, man, I don't care. No judgments. <laughs> Whoever's giggling has peed a bed before and I love that. I'm so sorry. I had a rough time once I, I peed this guy's bed and I, I felt really, really bad about it. Because usually I don't give a fuck. I'm just kidding. I felt terrible. I felt terrible. I was like, alright, you know what? I woke up and I realized this guy's a dog. Like, maybe I brought some pee in here, but I'm going to bring some out. 
and take this dog for a walk. They go around the block, come back to the apartment, realize, oh, I have no idea what apartment this guy lives in. <laughs> I'm knocking on doors. Is this your dog? Did I fuck you last night? Where's my dick? <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. I am. Um, I'm 30 wonderful years old. So my mother has mentioned to me that like maybe I should have a kid. I'm just like, mom, you know, whatever. Just tell me what color you want, and you can have it. <laughs> it's pretty clear we should leave it in my hands. Thank you guys so much. You're a great crowd. I'm Karen Fee, give it up for your host. Caribbean guys.